Hi Sandra, good, good evening. Welcome to Pageant Trend. So, Hello. how was the runway challenge? Super exciting. It's the first time that we actually got to be on the runway. So, everything was a challenge talaga kasi we don't know what to expect. Everything super big love, but we did our best talaga. And all of the girls did amazing and it was really fun to have two meters walking and all of the lemonade supporting. So, super happy about it. So, what was your expectations uh, in this challenge? My expectation is only one thing. Love and love. <laughs> and of course, I pray also to not fall. But I think at the end of the day, the thing is, if we do make a mistake, at least we're going to push forward and bring our best foot forward. That's it. Okay, so introduce yourself. Tell us more about this. Okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Sandra Wright Mundo Lebanon, and I am representing Tagig City. Alright, let's start with the fast talk. Okay, go ahead. First question, what is the most impressive thing you know how to do? Impressive thing I know how to do is probably speak four different languages. I can speak Portuguese, and I can speak English, and French, and also a little bit of Spanish. I got Tagalog. Tell us uh, an example. Give us okay. an example. Example. My name is Sandra Wright Mundo. I'm going to speak French. Next question. What question would you would you most like to know the answer to? Um, the question that I would love to know the answer to is when are we going to be free? Because <laughs> then, the we have so many schedules, so I would be looking forward when we have a date to just relax, sit back, and enjoy. All yep. right. Next question. What do you like to do in your free time? Oh, this is easy. What I love to do in my free time is be with my loved ones. I love poetry, so I like to learn more about different things, and I think psychology is really important for me. So that's what I really like to do: be by the beach, relax, enjoy, enjoy life. Like Are you more on indoors or outdoor person? Outdoor. <laughs> Why? Outdoor because I really love nature. I love being surrounded by um, something that's so natural that we can just appreciate, and but um, you don't feel the stress. You feel actually relieved. It's such a good environment, and that is something that money can't buy. So that's what I really love. What is the most fascinating person you've met? The most fascinating person that I've met, I have plenty, but for sure it would be one of my best friends, Katrina the Great. She has a multitude of talent, and I really can't understand how she compiles them all together and exerts so much energy in me. What amazing adventures have you been on? Amazing adventures. I think the most recently adventure that I went was I visited Shargao. It was my first time being there and I love being connected to nature. The way that they um, live their life is super wholesome. Everything that they do is real. Because I really want to make authentic connections. I want to um, just enjoy. Because life is too short actually. So I'm trying to what is the most annoying question that people ask you? What is the most annoying question would probably also a blessing in disguise would be Do you guys know what is the feel, feel, feel <laughs> Or how do you feel? But in the end, I really am happy because that is really a blessing in disguise and it put me where I am today. Without that, I wouldn't be the woman that I am and I want to show that even if you have a mishap, you can stand up tall and move forward. What is the luckiest thing that has happened to you? The luckiest thing that has ever happened to me is to have my beautiful lemonade. I am so lucky to have such an amazing group of people that are creative and they want to support me genuinely. I think that is the most important because at the end of the day, this is a mind game. It doesn't matter how many followers you have. It doesn't matter if you have the best dress, if you have the best walk. What matters is the people that choose to support you since day one because that you cannot buy. And to people that know you since day one, seen you struggle, have been there throughout, and through thick and thin, so, yeah, my limit. Last question, if you had the world's attention for 30 seconds, what would you say? Um, if I have the world's attention for 30 seconds, I would 
still promote mental health. I think mental health is something so important for us and also to share our struggles. Every one of us has been struggling with something inside and I think it's time to give and show life to that because we have to be human. As beautiful as we look, as many queens, we have a heart and we have a message to tell. So that is what I really want to share. My struggles as much as my victories. Last, anything to say about your supporters and fans? Uh -huh.